Hello everyone and welcome back to Tiny House and Off Grid Resources, the channel where we rebuild, recycle and repair instead of just replace. The little town where I live here in New Zealand each summer has quite a stressed municipal water supply and year by year I've noticed that they have to draw water from other places to add into the supply and it requires heavier treatment regimes which means more chemicals in our water. I'm just not going to stand for that. So for quite some time I've been putting nothing into my body or onto my plants that I haven't harvested myself from the sky. This year I'm going a step further. I've been watching Canadian Prepper on YouTube now for quite some time Canadian Prepper has been extolling the virtues of the Berkey water filter. It's um, not something that even needs to be connected to a pressurised source. It's a, a tub, a tower that sits on the kitchen bench and it doesn't require any pressure or any electricity to make it work. It's a wonderful design. But here in New Zealand they cost a fortune. So I've made my own version of the Berkey water filter that has cost me under $10 US. And I'll tell you something else, it's got a couple of extra features. So come and have a look, I'll show you exactly step by step how I made it. So first of all, let's have a look at the components. Starting from the top, we've got a ceramic 28 centimeter plant dish. The filtering medium itself is a 25 centimeter flower pot, unglazed terracotta. You can see that the water is wicking through the pores of the pot. It's a very slow process and it's all done by gravity. No batteries required. That just sits in there and slowly delivers beautiful clear filtered water into the bottom chamber the kids in the family can turn up at any time, turn the tap and get a drink of nice, fresh, clean water. So let's get a little bit more in depth here. What we're doing is we're drinking water from a rubbish bin. This is a little flip top rubbish bin that I found in the local dollar shop. Um, it only cost a couple of bucks. And the most important thing is if you look on the bottom, you will see that it is a type 5 plastic and it is actually polypropylene. Polypropylene plastic is the absolute best plastic to use for um, food related uses. It's got the best food rating out there. Then we have to drill a hole in the bottom of it so that we can put in the drum tap and the drum tap I also found from the $2 store, it was literally $2, but it didn't come with a backing nut. It's designed to go into a drum that has its own thread. So I've had to make a little washer out of a piece of rubber, and I had to go to another store to find the backing nut that will screw on. So, all we have to do to make one of these filters, all we have to do is put the washer and the nut on the inside, Pass the drum tap through the hole and tighten it up. By the way, the hole I drilled with a wooden spade bit. I've got tools for pretty much everything here. If you haven't got a drill large enough, you can even find a piece of metal pipe, heat it up and melt a hole through the, through the bottom here. And it will work just as well. So there we are, there's the tap in place, and what I'm going to do is sit this on top of a pedestal so that we can pour into things underneath the tap. Now what am I doing with this piece of wood here? This piece of wood is a very special piece of wood, it's Lawson Cypress. Lawson Cypress actually has antiseptic properties in its sap. So I've got a lot of that growing on the property and I've chosen to whittle a bung for the flower pot out of that wood, like this. 
That's because most flower pots have a drainage hole in the bottom. We don't want a drainage hole in the bottom. We need to bung that up. So this goes in there. And the great feature about making this kind of filter is that you can service it yourself. There are no ongoing costs. You don't have to buy a new cartridge every six months or a year. This will last a lifetime. You can buy the flower pots in different sizes, depending on what size you decide to make. One of my added features for this is I've decided to use a colloidal silver wash before I use it on the inside. That'll soak into the pores of the unglazed terracotta and provide antibacterial protection. More details on that up here. So now the pot just goes inside the main chamber here and we fill the pot with water from any water supply. The cleaner the better. I'm using beautiful clean rainwater straight from the sky, which I collect outside in, in, in one of several tubs that I've got all around the property. Details on how to make these self-filling, self-filtering rain barrels is up above here. So we now have one gallon of water here in the top tank and very slowly that will percolate through the pores in the ceramic and gather in the reservoir at the bottom. So in an hour or so we'll have an increasing amount of water that anybody can come along and tap into at any time they like during the day. Well, it's the end of another busy day. I'm so glad that I've managed to um, get this water filter ready because who knows with the way the world is at the moment, um, things could change on a daily basis. And we might find ourselves without the amenities that we're so used to having. And as I say, this thing can be built dirt cheap in five minutes with no tools and it doesn't need any power to operate it. I hope you found the video useful. There's loads of other videos on my channel that follow a similar vein. Videos on looking after yourself in adverse conditions. Making something out of nothing. And leaving the smallest carbon footprint that you possibly can. So join me on the channel. Have a look at the other videos. There's a video every week, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Well, actually, no, you'll be seeing me in the next one. But I'll know you're there.